A few months ago, there was behind me a very beautiful forest with um, spruce tree and a lot of moss. It was all green covered and the nature took everything back what they planned in the war. So there was nothing left. And now people come back and make everything away. There is no tree left no grass, no moss, nothing, only stones. This massive bow is the only one what is left. All the others are damaged, they bomb it away and they go here into this right and it is a ma very massive building so we can only imagine how it looks in the past. Here behind me you can see how the nature took everything back. This here was all both, all massive bows, and um, you can see that is everything covered with moss, the pine trees grow there. In the background you cannot see that this was such a massive building in the past because everything is covered, the nature took everything back. I walk complete over this beton. Under my feet are the old bows and here grows everything the pine trees moss grass and the more you go into this right um, you can see nothing what was here in the past because the nature covered everything The bows was three meter high, so very, very massive. I don't want to talk too much about the bunker, because what I really want to tell you is what they made out of this landscape. I'm standing now on top of the bunker bow and when I stand here in the past and I look around I only see forest. It was all green, green, green. And now of course there's also forest there but also very much destroyed. I will show it to you. Like this place here, look everything in the past. You can see that the tree that grows there are not so old, so these are smaller ones, but it was all green. Only from part to part, some small parts of beton what is left. And then there are many spaces like this here in the background, only stones, beton and crashed stones, no tree, no grass, nothing left. But what's the reason? Here you can really see how big they destroy the forest. Here is nothing left. At three um, parts of this bunker area, it looks like this. Not only once from this area, many also here in the background. There is nothing left from the forest.
at the other side it is very interesting what came back to the daylight. I thought I know this area very well, but now there are um, there are buildings from this I never know. Originally they would build here a war plane, but this never happens. This area here was destroyed after the war and no plane left this area. And then after the war all the people are so hurt and are shocked from everything what happened that they don't come to this area. It was a little bit forgotten. Nobody wants to come here. Uh, after a few years they came back to make wood here in the forest. The forest workers came back. And then from time to time people come back to see those relics from the war. Many um, school classes came actually the last years here because it is always better when um, relics from the war are visible. It is better for understand what's really happened. And of course it is very important that all the people and also our children never forget how bad this war was. Um, around here you can see it is a very beautiful forest so also many walkers came here, mountain biker. Um, a lot of people was here and then suddenly they thought about what is also left here. Is here not only the building left? Are here maybe something dangerous items left? Everywhere here under the forest are warfare weapons. So there are many dangerous relics from the war here under this earth. And they start to search what is really left here and they found such massive um, warfare agents that they said, okay, we had to search again, we had to dig them out of the ground and put them away. They are here since a few months um, and what I want to talk with you now is, is it okay to destroy the nature like this? Of course, it is important that we are safe, that our safety is the important thing. But must this really be? Must they destroy the forest like this? We don't know if ever would something happen because the things what's left are deep in the ground. But of course, something could happen. We don't know. So I want to talk with you if it is okay to destroy for this thing the forest like this. So I don't have an, um, a straight opinion. Of course I don't want that they destroy nature. But this year has another reason and I want to talk with you what do you think? Should they do it like this or can they be more, more safety against our nature? Do they really have to cut all the trees away? Or is there another way? 14 February 54 I show you the area now for a better overview at Google Maps. So in the middle here is the bunker arc what is left and under this part here in the middle from the picture is the sunken part from the bunker arc and you can see that it is all covered with trees. There is no um, concrete left. And here I show it to you with the mouse is all cleared. There is the whole forest damaged and away. I show it for you now with a drone in the bird um, view. So 
the whole forest there is a way. It looks now like a runway for the plane, but there is no forest left. It was really nice to see that the nature took the whole place back. So there was not much from the concrete to see anymore, only from the big bow. And everything else is complete back in the nature hands. After the war they try to demolition everything, they don't want that there can anything built in the future, but you can also see that they don't can make everything away. The last bow is still there. It is very impressively how they try to blasting everything away and from the top of this bow you can see how massive and how big it was in the past. I fly now over the damaged part from the bunker and you can see that the nature recaptured everything. So when you don't look really clear you cannot see that there is some concrete at the ground. But here it looks complete different. There is not much nature left. I want to talk with you now about this situation. What do you think about it? Is that justified or not? I've been... Honestly, I was really shocked when I see how this area looked now because I know this forest very well. I was often there in the past because I love this spruce and pine forest. But now there is not much left from the forest that I loved so much in the past. I want to talk with you complete neutral. So I am against the destruction from nature and I am against senseless clearing and destroying from the nature. But of course um, the munitions clearance is for our security. What do you think? Is this a legitimate way or is there another way to clear this area? Do they really have to destroy the wolf forest for this or not? What do you think? I'm looking forward for a lively exchange and discussion with you. What do you think about this situation? So thank you for watching and I hope we see us again in the next video. If you want to talk with me about this situation, please write me your opinion in the comments. Thank you and bye bye.